<coughs> Another word. Uh, no, actually, because I'm on my break and I've still got 12 minutes left, so if you don't mind, I'll just take it through there. Right, well, I'll tell that to Mrs Hobbs then, shall I? Only she's in reception right now, not too happy. Why? Said that you left her a message saying we're operating on shadow today. She's put the day off work. So? So, it's in the diary for tomorrow. What? I mean, usually I, I juggle things around, try and fix your mistake, but I'm full on today. I'll talk to her. Hey, don't bother. You carry on with your well-earned break. Go on. Doesn't bode very well for your training, though, does it? You can't even manage appointments properly. What the hell do you think you were doing switching the vial boxes? What? The analgesic I needed for the horse. You switched them with the heart meds. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. You're the only one anywhere near them. You do realise if I'd administered the wrong drugs, the horse could have died. Hey! Where are you from down the street? What's going on? Bell almost killed a horse trying to sabotage my reputation. I'm sorry? I nearly injected atropine instead of buprenorphine. You nearly administered the wrong drugs? No, somebody tampered with the boxes. Wanted me to. Now, Bell was hanging around the back of my car. She switched them. I'm sure of it. Well, it's a bit far-fetched. Maybe it was supplier error. I can give him a ring. No, it wasn't, OK? Trust me. Besides, don't say you're denying it, do you? Well, what would be the point? You're desperate to make out that I'm incompetent. No, you're worse than that. You're dangerous. Just shut up a minute and let her speak. Paddy, what am I meant to say? The truth. An explanation. <sighs> Bell. Brilliant. Thanks a bunch. I ask you to tolerate each other for a few hours and this is what happens. Absolute carnage. Yeah, well, don't worry. It won't be a problem from now on because she's fired. Right, no one's getting sacked, OK? So let's just take a breath, engage our brains. Hey, she doesn't even care. Belle, please help me out. Tell me you didn't mess with his bag. Do you really have to ask me that? Well, not normally, no, but something's obviously going on. I need to find out what. Well, just look at her face, will you? It's obvious she did it. Shut up. Belle. You know what? Yeah, I did do it. Because he deserves it. I don't believe this. You do know I now have no choice but to suspend you. Don't worry, Paddy. I'll save you the trouble. I quit. What? I quit. Suits me just fine. Just a shame I'd already sacked you. Yeah, you don't get to make decisions like that on your own. Belle, please. You've only just enrolled on your nursing course. You can't just throw it all away. Oh, come on, Paddy. She's hardly going to ace it. I mean, she nearly kills an animal trying to discredit me. If that's not an instantly sackable offence, then I don't know what is. Thank you for the job, Paddy. I used to enjoy it. Belle. I can't believe he's fired you for no good reason. He likes the power, doesn't he? Yep. Let's see if he thinks the same after I've spoken to him, huh? What would be the point? Pell, he can't just do what he likes. You've got rights. I won't go back there even if he begged me. I should have left ages ago. Not giving him the satisfaction of firing me. You sure that's what you want? Yeah. Now I just need to find a job that's decent around here. Mm, when you come work for me in the salon? Blimey. Business must be brisk if you're hiring already. What do you say, Vin? No offence, Mandy, but I don't want to work there. Why not? What, you mean aside from the fact you could probably only pay in manicures? Fair point. <laughs> I'm going to get some fresh air. It's you know. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to take... If you're here to have a go, ask what's got into me, just don't. Not at all. I'm worried about you. What you did... It, it, stating the obvious, it isn't you. You don't understand how much Jamie's got into me. The pressure that I've felt under. All right, well, I don't condone what he's done, but I just don't want you throwing your career away because of it. Thought I already had. No. No, well, not necessarily. Just talk to me. Let's just see if we can sort something out. I don't want to go back there, Paddy. I cannot handle being around him. To what if people ask? I'll just tell them what I told Mandy. Me and Jamie fell out. It's not hard to believe, is it? <laughs> Probably for the best. Don't worry. I'm not going to drag your practice down with me. What are you saying that for? Belle, 
Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I'm fine. All right, I'm going to get off. Listen, if you change your mind... I won't. See you later. There was me complaining about how bad things were this morning. Turns out they can always get a little worse, can't they, Mum? You do think I'm doing the right thing, though, don't you? Better off away from Jamie. Of course you are. Just makes my blood boil. He didn't get what was coming. I tried. I know, love. At least you're not too stubborn to listen to your mum still. No one hurts my girl, do you hear me? It's all right. I know I've not been around for you, sweetheart, but I'm here now. I'll look after you. As long as you keep doing as I tell you. Thanks, Mum. 